Welcome back to St. Isidore's Farm. It's been, you know, I think, a little over a week since we posted some videos. Not a lot going on out here. We've been doing little projects here and there. But uh, just coming back out, we've gotten, uh, from the last video that we just posted, we've gotten three, uh, what we're now calling kind of raised beds in our back to Eden garden area. So what we've been doing, as you saw in that other video, is going in and pulling the wood chips apart and then putting soil and compost mix that we've been making into this. We've already planted one row and now just did these other two rows right here. So you can see what happens is that as we're pulling this, I don't know, Isaac, if you can lower down back there, go back a ways and uh, you can actually see just how different in terms of the height from what was the ground level out there up. I mean, we're talking, you know, 20 inches or so up. And you can see that as we pull dirt out of there, it's coming up. And so this is actually getting a little bit steeper as we work our way across, because we still got to go back down. To get back down to the ground here, we're digging this. Uh, but you can see just with the rain and uh, how long we've had these wood chips out here, it's pretty amazing how wet this stuff gets. And it's already pretty quickly decomposing. I pull this up the soil dirt that's down there. It's pretty amazing how wet this stuff stays and how crumbly it still is compared to when we put these wood chips in, before we put these wood chips in and how hard that, how hard this stuff gets, almost like concrete. So what we've been doing is digging down to right to the top of this dirt, pulling this out, creating kind of a wide V and then filling it with dirt and compost that we're gonna start planting in but for this video what I wanted to do is uh, is you know when you talk about this this idea of a back to Eden garden method or a no-till garden method there's a lot of references to talking about how things work in nature and if we look at the woods and how fertile the woods are and the soil is uh, versus when we till the soil and what happens there uh, and why one you know, why one is fertile, why one is not, uh, and the health of that soil. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody actually in one of those videos go out and dig in the woods. So what we wanted to do today was go out and we're gonna go dig in the, uh, dig up some dirt and look at it in our woods and then go to a field of ours that we tilled pretty heavily last year uh, by comparison. So let's go take a look and see what it, see what it looks like. One of the things that gets said in a lot of these videos about uh, this this method of, of gardening back to Eden is how things work in nature or in the woods and that woods can be obviously very fertile with all the trees and other things growing in them uh, and there's no tilling so this idea of no till uh, and how fertile the soil can be and how much life there can be in it versus in an area where it's till, tilled so I thought I want to go take a look actually. This was once tilled soil because in part of our woods I can see the old furrows in it uh, and guessing by the, the age of these trees it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 even 40 years since this has been uh, farmland uh, or agricultural so it's just been left to go. So this has been pretty much undisturbed somewhere we just came out. So sticks out of the way so I can dig down and uh, let's just try and dig and see what soil looks like. One of I thought about, I mean, it's, there's obviously going to be a lot of roots in here, but you can see old leaf mold or litter, leaf litter underneath here. Definitely hitting a few roots on the surface of this, but if you come around the other side, Isaac, and lift this up, come around this way. I think, well, right off the bat, oh, a worm snake. How cool is that? <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. It's a, uh, a worm snake hiding, hiding out. Give that to you for safekeeping. So if you look at, looking at this, um, one thing I know immediately, and we're gonna go up and dig a field, dig up a field. One thing it, it, uh, immediately noticeable about this is just how uh, it's actually an earth worm 
is how crumbly a young earthworm this this soil is and a much bigger one so looking at looking at this just digging right here in the soil first off uh, I mean just if you look at this up close look at all the roots that are in this soil uh, from the trees and things I and mean, it's just and look how loose and crumbly and airy this is that it's not compacted which when listening and watching Mark's videos at I am organic gardening I mean this is what he talks about when you're doing a no-till garden so let's go up in the field and take a look at uh, let's go take a look at the field that we tilled last summer pretty heavily trying to put in uh, some plants for our honeybees this is the field that we tilled pretty heavily last year tilled it tilled it again tilled it till we had probably I would say six or eight inches or more of really soft turn soil it's before we really knew anything about the idea of no-till gardening uh, so we'll approach things differently now but I thought it'd be interesting to compare what we just saw in the woods to what we have up here where we did till this pretty heavily and it was turned or let go I mean once we planted those seeds we didn't really do anything with it I just came in here and bush hogged the weeds that had come up back down but uh, dig down and see what see what we find up here tell the soil is already just digging it's denser than what was in the woods obviously I'm not hitting any roots but um, just dig down see what we get all right so uh, well you can just see that the soil is not quite as uh, the dirt is is certainly not as as loose uh, do you have earthworms up here uh, in this in this top in this top layer where the roots and things are but down here below I mean this is yeah it's it's dense I mean this is and so I mean again I'm not a soil scientist or anything but just watching some of these these videos things that I mean look at that I mean it is not that's not coming apart in the same way that it did in the woods I mean, it seems like this top layer you've got some roots very shallow roots from the things that grew in there last year but I tilled easily that far down and if you look at this what we have is just chunks of condensed blocks of of clay so I mean there's a few roots that are going to go down in there but just the difference that's pretty apparent just the, the difference of the way nature works and this idea of how tilling uh, when we when we go in there and till and break up and kill a lot of the good things that are in there and especially the roots that eventually as it rains and certainly driving tractors and things back over it it compacts it down in there without those roots so it's really interesting this as I learn more about the no-till no gardening uh, just to see the difference between how things work in nature and how loose that soil was and all the roots that were in it and how here we do have some earthworms uh, little baby earthworms starting to come come up but they're only here in the uh, in this top couple of inches uh, right here at the at the top but there's not any down here because this is and this is hard really really hard compacted dirt so uh, I guess I'm I'm a believer in a short order of of how this how this works so now our thinking on this is and again just from watching Mark's videos um, on we would like to do sunflower seeds or something up here to maybe start to get some root development down into the ground so I guess we would if I understood correctly come in here and do till just the, the top couple of inches and then broadcast sunflower seeds in this whole field, which will hopefully start driving some roots down into that more compacted soil and loosening it up over time. This field, uh, we thought we'd stop and, and look at this field real quick because this has not been tilled. We've been here for three years. All we have done is mow this. I don't think anybody has tilled it for probably a decade. So it might be interesting just to take a look at what this looks like, this field looks like, especially right here where this, this grass is. 
and see how extensive the roots are going down. It's softer to dig in than that tilled field, to be sure. Wow, look at that. Look how much of it, just how much of it came up uh, out of the ground just from roots all the way. You got roots all the way down here. What is that, a foot down in this, in this pasture? Uh, and this is being held, I mean, look at that. That's pretty awesome. I mean, this is just grasses out here. So, um, this is our soil here is this kind of sandy sandy clay like soil but you can tell the difference there is clay uh, here but a big difference from what just showed you up there in that field is that there were obviously no roots down in it and though this is being held together uh, this is I can it's softer uh, it's definitely softer if I go at it than what was up there this is being held together by roots uh, so this is a, I mean, you got the same kind of a top, top layer up here of soil, but man, look at that. That's pretty cool. So, um, anyways, I'm, again, I don't, uh, it's just really interesting to see the difference of what uh, a, is happening in the woods, what is happening out here in a pasture that has been, I mean, this has been, this pasture, to my knowledge, it's been at least 10 years since this has been, I mean, anything has been done with, I don't even know if it was ever tilled. And then that field up there where you've got, where we just tilled it last year and there are no roots this far down into the soil. So when you talk about the health, the health of the soil and uh, and of the plants, obviously, if you look at, at this gra these grasses that, that's growing here, what a difference. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead. Well, that's it. We wanted to just do a, a quick video about no-till and back to Eden as we're doing it out here. So uh, just to show, it really is pretty amazing to see the difference in soils in different locations and how things change from you know what it is in the woods to what it is in a pasture that hasn't been disturbed for years, uh, over a decade, and to a field where we've tilled pretty heavily. So what we've got is, as we showed at the beginning of the video, is this fairly large, it's uh, about 50 by 60 foot uh, area that we're going to do as one big area bed with these raised beds in it. We'll keep continue to add them across. One of the next things we're going to have to do, though, we've been needing to do, is that if we actually get produce coming out of here, is deal with the deer. So we're going to put up a fence all the way around this fairly large flat area up here where our greenhouse and raised beds and everything else are. So we're going to have to do that. Um, we've got to deal with this, start continue to spread this large area of wood chips that our friends of the tree service keep bringing us. So we're going to spread those out around in here hopefully get this greenhouse get back to this and get this covered up and then eventually we'll get back into the quonset hut but the, the spring with work for me at school is just really really busy so time is short uh, little opportunities to come and do things so we kind of do a little bit and then uh, so not as much going on out here on the farm this time of year even though it is busy uh, it's a it's a it's a busy there's lots that needs to be d done but uh, it's it's just hard to um well bring the camera along and film things it's just tend to, to get to it but uh, that's it from St. Isidore's farm this week and uh, we'll keep doing a little bit of things I got a bunch going on this this coming week so it may be a while it may be a week or two before we get another video uploaded so until then hope everybody is great hope everybody had a great St. Patrick's Day last week um, did get our hats in uh, so that was pretty exciting if you can see up, up close. I'm excited about these. I was going to do a hat giveaway, uh, but we way, we way missed the, the thousand subscribers, so I guess we'll do it for 2,000 subscribers. But until the next video, take care and God bless.